Quick video on some of the gear that I use. Primarily I want to talk about binoculars. Uh, I do have a lot of spotting scopes and binoculars. I used to hunt out west a lot and uh, you know it pays dividends to have your 10 by 50s and, and some of your larger binoculars. But for, for everyday whitetail hunting I just don't need that kind of magnification. Uh, and some people don't take binoculars at all and I get that. For me however there's just been too many times where I hunt a lot of thick brush uh, bedding areas and so I, there's been numerous times that I'll pick up a little bit of movement and I don't know was it a squirrel, an armadillo, was it a deer so I can a lot of times not see it with my naked eye but I can throw up my small binoculars and it has enough magnification and light gathering that during any legal shooting hours you can really use these to dissect that brush and tell hey was that a squirrel tail I saw over there or was that a deer foot uh, it can help you pick up the tines and really make better guesses as far as what kind of age structure you're looking at in a deer, there's, I mean, there's just so many benefits. I, I personally would never go out in the woods hunting without a good set of binoculars on me. Uh, now I do want to get into what I, the brand I personally use because there's so many good glass out there now. Uh, the Swarovski and the Zeiss are obviously very great German glass and well worth the money. But you know, if you don't want to spend a thousand dollars for a good set of binoculars, these Vortex brand that I've been using for the past I don't know five, six, seven years are excellent. I've owned the Swarovski, I've owned the Zeiss, and I currently have a lot of Minox, which is also really great glass. And in comparable sizes, then these Vortex gather just as much light to my eye and pick up as much clarity and detail as any of those other brands. The nice thing about these, this is the Diamondback series, it's the 10x28. Uh, I've used these for years. Great glass, great binocular. I think they're around three to $400. Uh, I haven't checked them in a while. Uh, but th this is a good option. They weigh about 16 ounces, which is right at a pound. And uh, like I said, they're gr this is a great option. Very small and compact. You can tell that both of these are about the same size. Both of them have the extended eye relief, multi coatings, you know, all the bells and whistles. The difference between these two is this this one here, the Vanquish series, is a reverse roof prism or whatever it's called, and uh, it's it's under a hundred bucks. I think I gave eighty nine dollars for the last pair of these that I got, and I have a pair of these for every one of my backpacks. I don't like swapping gear around from backpack, and I have different backpacks if I'm using a stand, if I'm going in ground hunting, if I'm using a saddle. So I've got about five different backpacks that I take, and I, I throw a pair of these in each one of them. Uh, but what I really like about these is that they weigh 11.8 ounces, 12 ounces with the strap. Uh, that's under a pound. These are the, this particular one is the 8 by 26, I think it is. I don't have my readers on. But I've, I've been using these, for, like I said, for the last year or so, and in early morning, late evening, they gather as much light. I have no trouble seeing at the crack of dawn or right when evening's dropping with these glasses with good clarity and detail. Uh, it, it's kind of surprising. You know, I really like Vortex Diamondback series, but these are $300, under 100 bucks. So you can get three pair of these for each pair of these, and they carry the same warranty. And uh, they, they're all covered by the, uh, the Vortex multi-coating and, and the good glass and the good optical glass. So both of these are comparable as far as light gathering and magnification and stuff. This one's just about a third of the price and a little bit lighter, about the same size. Uh, and I, I, like I said, I get some people don't take glasses into the woods and maybe where they're hunting it's not necessary, I don't know. I certainly wouldn't try to use these to look at something 300 yards away but in the brush you know 100 yards away 80 yards away low light where you're just not sure exactly what it is that you saw or that caught your eye these things perform flawlessly I personally never go out in the woods without carrying a set of glass with me so these are a couple options that I highly recommend one other thing I've been getting a lot of questions on is uh, the pruners that I carry now I haven't never weighed these, so I, I'm going to do it right now just to get an idea what the weight of these are. But these are kind of a, these are Corona, and I get these through Amazon. 
and uh, they're they're not plastic, but it's a, a polymer type substance. It has one metal blade, and then it does have the polymer bottom blade. But these will cut anything up to about an inch in size. Uh, they do wear out over time, and I replace these every year. Once again, every one of my uh, backpacks or in every one of my saddles, I have a pair of these. They're pretty cheap. I think they're like 15 bucks. But the weight of them, hang on, let me reset my scale. 6 ounces. This thing weighs 6 ounces. Okay? And, and like I said, uh, I, I know down south our trees grow a lot. We have a long green season, growing season. And so a lot of times I'm climbing a tree that I may never have been in before, but if not, it's probably been 6 months at least. And more than likely a year or two since I've been in that tree. We have grapevines, poison ivy, brush, uh, limbs grow out of the trees, you know, and these are very handy to clean that up the day that I'm hunting. That way I don't necessarily have to go in and re-prep a tree. I can carry these with me and clear out anything that grew up. Now, of course, if you have trees further out in the distance, that requires some uh, tree prepping a lot of times down here. But this is a great, they're made by Corona. Uh, I'll try to get a link to these and post it out on saddlehunter.com, but Man, six ounces between this at 12 ounces and six ounces here. You're talking about just about a pound to carry two tools that absolutely will come in handy while you're out there hunting because you just never know what you're going to encounter. So any questions, drop it in the comments below or visit saddlehunter.com and look me up, Dave T. 1963, and send me a PM and I'll be happy to... Uh, discuss whatever you want to discuss on any of these products.